You got me? So we can hear you and we can see you. So we are ready whenever you are. All right, I'm ready. All right, do you wanna just open up with questions, Mark? Uh, now I'll start. We good to go, Brad? We're good, all set, yes, sir. Okay, good morning, everybody. Thanks for taking the time. Um, we have a lot of things going on today. Um, so I appreciate you guys agreeing to do it by Zoom. Hopefully it's a little bit more efficient for all of you as well. Um, obviously we're here to talk about the kickoff luncheon and continue that tradition, but I think it's appropriate to just stop for a second um, and recognize the loss of Lenny. Um, you know, I just wanted to share personally that um, he was a big part of my entry into Chief's Kingdom. And I had the, the unbelievable gift of being able to spend almost a decade um, with him every single away weekend. And being at dinners with partners and um, sharing stories. And <clears throat> as many of you know, I'm a Pittsburgh kid. Um, so some of my best stories were just sitting with Lenny late at night and talking about his days with the Steelers and his days with the Browns. Um, and the Bobby Lane stories he shared were things that I will pass down to generations of Donovans and, and Pittsburgh fans. Um, it just one of the small ways that he touched me and, uh, and I know it extends far, far beyond me, but I just personally wanted to uh, acknowledge that. Um, we are gonna pay tribute um, to Lenny and the Hunt family and our organization felt it was really important to, to just find a way for our fans to come together and celebrate Lenny. Um, we talked a lot of different options and we just came back to, we just kept coming back to GHA Field and Arrowhead had to be a part of it. And there would be no more appropriate place than the Hall of Honor to honor Lenny. Um, <clears throat> so really excited to be able to do that today with a public tribute. Um, hopefully it becomes an opportunity for our fans to come together and unite, um, celebrate, reflect, and remember a man who had an enormous impact on our organization. So open to the public, free, from one to nine today. Um, it's a walking tour of the building, uh, most focused on Hall of Honor um, with some special displays honoring Lenny. And then um, just a special shout out to our team, um, both on the operation side, pulling this together, but also um, 65 TPT and Laura Krug and Rob Alvarino and, and their amazing team of putting together a video that will be part of the um, tribute today. We're gonna give opportunities to see it in multiple places, but one of the coolest places will be just to sit uh, in the stadium and watch it on our big boards. And it is a moving tribute that I think um, will both, you know, make you smile, make you laugh, make you cry, um, and just hopefully an appropriate combination of a lot of great tributes to Lenny. Um, obviously we wanted to keep the kickoff luncheon going um, and the celebration of really our unofficial kickoff to the season with this event, bringing the business community in Kansas City together. Um, we're excited to do that again. We're, we're always thankful for the partnership that we have with our chamber um, and creating this opportunity to bring people together. It's a great chance for our business community to actually meet our players and coaches face to face uh, in a unique setting. It's also an opportunity to hear from Clark, from Brett, uh, from Coach Reed, and then from some of the leadership uh, from the player side. So it's great to be back together again. It's great to get back into our traditions. And this is a very important one uh, for us. I'm just going to hit on the very top line a couple of the issues that are um, sort of the biggest issues from our past off season and then uh, looking forward. And then obviously we can go further with questions on any of these topics, but I'll start with legalized sports betting. <clears throat> um, we've been working for almost four and a half years, um, pretty diligently and consistently on this issue. And we're strong believers in the benefits of legalized sports betting for our fans, enhancing their experience and also for the financial impact they can have on the states that legalize it. And we're really excited 
<clears throat> that Kansas has officially um, legalized sports betting and the government um, politicians, the folks in charge have accelerated the timeline to be able to launch today. With that, we're excited also to announce that we have formed uh, partnerships with BetMGM and with DraftKings to be official partners uh, with our organization and create really unique ways for Chiefs Kingdom to activate and for our fans in the state of Kansas to enhance their experience in being a fan of this great team. Um, also excited to announce um, next week, we'll be opening our second Chiefs Fit. This will be on the plaza. Um, Chiefs Fit in Oakland Park has been a great success for us. We're very excited to be able to bring that concept to the plaza in a very unique setting, one that uh, will create not only a, a fantastic workout experience and fitness experience, but also one that has a rooftop deck and has recovery systems in place that are some of the same recovery um, techniques, protocols that our players go through. So to bring that to our fans as an opportunity in that great historic location uh, is something we're excited to do. Red Friday uh, will be officially kicking off next week. Um, Chiefs Fit will be part of Red Friday. This will be our biggest and uh, most exciting Red Friday celebration, um, I think, in our history. When you think about how the dates lined up with our uh, first away game being um, the 11th, we're going to celebrate Red Friday on the 9th, um, and then we'll kick into the following week with that short week and the Thursday Amazon Prime game. I will say one of the additions in Red Friday um, will start tomorrow night, and we've been able to partner with the great people who have made First Fridays in the Crossroad District such an um, institution in Kansas City. And we're gonna bring Chief's Kingdom to Red Friday and wanna thank all the partners there uh, for allowing us to be a part of that and to celebrate and create new, new and unique ways for our fans um, to interact. Obviously on the ninth uh, with Red Friday kicking off, that will be our flag day. Um, our fans can go to any McDonald's um, to purchase their flags, you, so you can also go to chiefs.com. The, um, the opportunity that we have with Red Fridays that has evolved to one of the largest fundraisers uh, in the city is just, I always say that it's just such a perfect combination of partners coming together to do good and using the tradition and the celebration that was started by Lamar 31 years ago. Um, it's something really exciting. Last year, um, we raised over $900,000 and went right back to Ronald McDonald House here in Kansas City. And we're hoping to break that number um, this year. I just have three more here and then we can get into the questions. One being, um, this is our 50th season at Arrowhead. Uh, we're excited to celebrate the history of that great building. We're excited to bring GHA Field into that uh, celebration and create unique ways all season long to recognize all the historic things that have happened in that building. And what makes that building really iconic amongst sports fans worldwide is our fans. Um, and they create that experience that people talk about. And that's one of the reasons we're really proud that Amazon chose us to be the very first prime game on their new initiative. Um, it's a real pride point for us from the business side to be able to celebrate. I think it's a great recognition of our fans and our city. Um, Arrowhead at night um, is something that the league has always valued and it's because of our fans and the experience that they create. The last two I'll cover that I've covered before, but just as a, you know, what keeps us busy and what we're excited about going forward. The first being international. And we've been very, very aggressive with Germany and Mexico. Um, and really leveraging that opportunity that the league has created for us um, to expand our brand, to create more opportunities for fans overseas, but also for our fans here in Kansas City to experience that. Um, we're very excited about what we're doing in Germany. We've shown great progress so far in growing our brand already through a bunch of social media things we've done, as well as being on site in Germany over the past few months. And then in the future, a uh, number of us will be back there just during this season. And then finally, the one we've all talked about, which is having draft here next year. Uh, the NFL was here a couple weeks ago doing a bunch of visits. We've been working with our friends at Union Station um, to create the best event that the draft has ever seen and the biggest event that Kansas City has ever seen in 23 and then three years later. 
uh, the opportunity to have the World Cup here in Kansas City is something that you know we're obviously behind the scenes working very hard on already. With that huge intro, I'm going to open up to you guys. Um, we'll go first to Matt Derrick. Go ahead, Matt. Hey, Mark. Appreciate your time as always. A um, couple of things. Uh, one, just the kind of a quick housekeeping item as far as your timeline for training camp. You've got the decision about the, the option years for St. Joe. Uh, what is kind of your decision, your timeline as far as when you think you'll have that decision made? Yeah, we had a great year in St. Joe again. Um, as you know, Matt, we've talked about what great partners they are. Um, for those of you who were at the press conference uh, this year up there, I mean, it was just another example of the, the outpouring of support and appreciation from the mayor, from the president of the university, from the AD, um, from everybody who works with us every day. So we do have options to move forward. Um, we'll start our conversations here in the next couple of weeks. We're going to get through the start of the season and then we'll sit back down with them. What we, we always do is we review the past year. What do we learn? What can we do better? What can we do different? Um, sometimes that takes investments from the university. Sometimes that takes investment from us. Uh, but it's a great opportunity for us to get away our coach loves it. Our GM loves it. Our players, for the most part, love it. Um, there are definitely some, you know, some dog days of living in those dorms, no matter what dorm you're at, uh, that you got to factor into it. But we're only a handful, one of a handful of teams that do this and go away. And, and we really believe in it. Um, and one of the reasons we believe in it and one of the reasons it's successful for us is because of Missouri Western. So we have every plan to continue there. We have every plan to, to extend our um, deal and uh, exercise our option up there. We just got to get through the process. And with, with announcing the partnerships with MGM, BetMGM and DraftKings, I know you have been involved with lawmakers on both sides of the state line to, to try and get this going. How far behind the eight ball right now is kind of Missouri with, with not being there? And how is it impacting you know, the, these partnerships and some of the things that you want to do at GHA Field Narrowhead? Yeah, um, it would be our preference that we were live in Missouri right now. Uh, we've worked really hard. Um, we have worked in cooperation with the Royals, with Sporting, well, not with Sporting because it's Missouri, but with St. Louis's soccer club, with the Blues. I mentioned before Bill DeWitt uh, from the Cardinals and his leadership has been really, really great. Um, John Sherman, myself, Bill DeWitt, or on a call with the people who are making the decision late in the process. And we felt like we were very close to getting it approved. Um, and then some things got in the way that weren't related to us and, and it wasn't. So um, I can't really say what's gonna happen. Uh, I can say that um, it would be beneficial for our fans. We know from the information, it'll be beneficial for the state. Um, and we just got to get through the process in Missouri. There are a lot of people in Jeff City working on our behalf, doing a great job there. We just got to get through the process. I will share that if you look at what's happened over the last four or five years, um, typically in situations like we're in, where a state like Missouri gets surrounded by states that are legal, and we're not completely surrounded in Missouri, but we're close now with, with Kansas. Um, it tends to accelerate the ball a little bit um, and they start to see real um, traction in those states and what it does for those states. So hopefully this evidence will further our discussions and further the evidence that it's something we should do in Missouri. And, and we are going to continue our efforts to make that happen. Go next to Matt McMullen. Go ahead, Matt. Hey, Mark. Um, speaking of training camp, kind of a two-part question here, but uh, the training camp now in the rear view, just how great was it to have a normal training camp again for the first time in quite a while? And then looking forward with the kickoff luncheon and with Red Friday um, coming up, it's been a while since we've had a real normal kickoff kind of time, and we're finally having that. Uh, your excitement looking forward as well to have more of a normal um, season. Yeah, as we talked about going into training camp, real excitement about helmet walk and autographs and what, what really makes, in my opinion, training camp special is it, it, it is the opportunity for our fans to get close to our players. And we haven't had that in so long. And we saw that. Uh, you saw that. You were there. Uh, most of the people on this call were there. Um, we have seen that example after example after example in our business operations. We saw that with our concerts. We saw that with our events in stadium. 
Um, every single step of the way, it's been great. And the comments typically have some form of, isn't this great to be back, right? So that, that's how I feel about kickoff luncheon. That's how I feel about, you know, getting on the plane to go to Arizona. And for us, operationally, like it's been different um, as a team traveling. And now we're back to normal. And um, hopefully that'll continue. Uh, but we're really excited to be back. We're really excited to continue to bring these opportunities to our fans and our partners um, to be a part of this. Mark, I think that's all we've got for you. Appreciate you joining us. All right, guys. Thank you. Thank you.